Hey Wintech Warriors! Today we will demonstrate how to designate a USB drive as either USB 1 or USB 2 within your EasyBuilder Pro project. The purpose of this feature is to allow you to expand the storage capacity of your HMI using a USB drive, like USB 1, while also allowing you to export image, CSV, or database files to the second USB drive without interfering with any data logging that may be occurring on USB 1. For this example, we'll be using a USB hub to increase the HMI's number of USB ports. Within Easy Builder Pro, navigate to the Object tab and select an ASCII object. We'll use this ASCII object to display the USB's partition ID once inserted. Click the Settings button and select the System Tag option. Select the Tag Library button and enter the numbers 12492 into the search bar. Then select the LW12492 Last Detected USB Partition ID system tag. The partition ID is a unique identifier assigned to the USB drive. Let's change the number of words for the ASCII object to 4 and place the object within our project. Create two more ASCII objects, address the system tags LW12498 and LW12502. Change the word count for each object to 4. LW12498 will be used to designate the partition ID of a USB drive as USB 1, and LW12502 will designate the partition ID of a USB drive as USB 2. Next, head to the Object tab and select Data Transfer per page. We're going to create two of these data transfer objects to transfer the USB drive's partition ID from system tag LW12492 to LW12498 and LW12502. And be sure to update the number of word fields to 4. When the data transfer objects are pressed, they will designate the last inserted USB drive as USB 1 or USB 2. Let's run a quick demo to see the USB drive designation in action. When the first USB drive is inserted into the HMI and the appropriate data transfer button is pressed, it is designated as USB 1. And when the second USB drive is inserted into the HMI, and the appropriate data transfer button is pressed. It is designated as USB 2. I've also added a couple of bit lamps mapped to system tags that indicate when USB 1 and USB 2 have been inserted into the HMI. Just so you all know that I'm not pulling your leg. It's important to note that the USB drive must be formatted to FAT32. In Windows 11, to confirm or to change the USB drive's file system to FAT32, pop the USB drive into your PC and open the File Explorer. Next, right-click the USB drive and select Format. In the File System drop-down list, you can reformat the drive. Thanks for watching this quick tip from WinTech USA support. Check out our forum at forum.wintechusa.com for more info on our software and products.